Sunrise. Amen. This is yours truly, Pastor Michael Student, First Lady, uh, Prophetess Tammy Burton Student. We thank God for all those that's in attendance tonight and that's amen. on the line. And amen. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. We're going to come tonight from John, the 15th chapter. John 15, chapter, and the seventh verse. Amen. And the title is uh, Stay in the Perimeters of the Holy Spirit. Move inside of the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, some of us, people of God, we, uh, the Lord told us, uh, all things work together for the good mm -hmm. of them that love the Lord and those that have been called according to his purpose. It's in him we live, we move, and we have our being. It's funny how many uh, saints, uh, many uh, people on uh, the face of the earth in the United States of America, they are accustomed of praying, they are accustomed of calling on the Lord, but they don't want to Live according to what the word say live. And so the Lord is not obligated to honor uh, nothing that you request outside of the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. See, we want God to be obligated. We want him to sign up to our foolishness, to our mess, our desires. When he said, let his will be done on earth as it already is in heaven. And so we have to stay in the uh, perimeters, uh, in other words, stay in the will of God. There's peace and safety under the blood of God. You know, a lot of times we think things just going to automatically happen, but not so. It's some things we have to do. It's some things we're responsible for uh, 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 doing in our Christian walk with Christ. Let's look at uh, 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 John 15 chapter, and we're going to start at the seventh verse. Mm -hmm. And it reads, if ye abide in me, listen, if ye, if you do this, I will do that. We thank God will automatically, the Lord going to automatically do something, but he said, if you do what you're supposed to do, I'm obligated to do what I'm supposed to do concerning you. We don't understand a binding contract that's legal is they'll keep their part of the bargain if you keep yours. When you sign a contract, it have holidays, vacations, certain amount of pay, and, and when you violate the contract, it's no longer binding, it's no longer legal uh, uh, is no longer good because you done broke what you signed. You done broke the agreement. And many of us done breached the agreement in the Holy Spirit. Knows that if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. If you ask according to my will, not according to your lust. Oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. If you ask concerning my will for your life, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Did you check with the Lord before you married? Did you check with the Lord before you accepted that job? Did you check with the Lord before you moved in that house? It may not have been his will possibly. We have to check with the Lord about his will because his will is already done in heaven. We need to manifest it on earth. And so we have to walk according to God's will and not our own. Yes, we have desires. Yes, we want some things. But the Bible tells us we don't even know what to ask for. We don't even know what to pray for. Except the Holy Spirit give us utterance. We have to move inside of the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. It's a like whatever you ask, if you ask within the will within the guidelines, then I'm obligated to bring it to pass. Uh -huh. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, whatever you shall, whatever you will, it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, 
if you stay inside of the perimeter or the walls or the will of God, the Lord said you're going to be fruitful. You're going to increase. You're going to multiply because you're doing it his way and not your way. You know, it's, it's funny how we ask things upon our lust. Are you asking for a house because you want to be bigger and better than your neighbors? Are you asking for a car so you can shine? Are you asking for more money so you can have a bag to brag about? Are you asking so you can help somebody? Are you asking so you can house somebody? Are you asking for a car so you can help somebody get to church? What are you asking for? Are you asking according to the will of the Lord? Because the Lord wants to get the glory out of your life. We exemplifying him on earth. And so he tells us that if you do it my way, here my father is glorified and that you're going to bear much fruit. Now he could have said you're going to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. But he said you're going to bear much fruit. I'm going to increase you more than you can imagine. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have I entered into the heart of in, that, that the Lord have in store or prepared for us. Mm -hmm. The good things he have prepared for us. Uh, he knows what we need even before we ask. Some of us asking amiss. We asking uh, uh, upon lust uh, and not the, upon what he wants. Uh, and so he says, now wait a minute. So shall ye be my disciples. When you abide in me, when you stay in the perimeters, I'll make you a disciple because you're obedient. You see how many times people go, we ask, but we're not obedient. He trying to disciple us. He trying to make us a disciple, but it comes through obedience. It comes through obeying the word of God and following the principles of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He giving us commandments. He giving us a roadmap to live our daily lives by. Are you staying within the perimeters of the Holy Spirit? Are you living according to what the words say? Are you doing your own thing? Are you going by establishing your own righteousness tonight? He talked about abide. That means if you continue, abide means continue in me. Mm -hmm. And I will continue in you. Mm -hmm. I will continue to make you fruitful. Mm -hmm. I'll continue to make you bear much fruit. Mm -hmm. Because you've done it my way. Herein, my father can be glorified. Uh-huh. It said, now, wait a minute. It said, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in love. If you keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. And make sure you love him. Yes. Even as I kept my father's commandments and abided in love. Mm -hmm. As long as you stay in the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. And you love. You see, this come with uh, principles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The requests come with obedience. Uh -huh. If you want the Lord to be obligated to move on your behalf or when you call on behalf of your children and your children's children, you have to walk in obedience. You have to keep his commandments. You have to love even when you're loving the unlovable. Even when folk don't love you back. Mm -hmm. In order to get the totality of the blessing, you're going to have to love in spite of. Not according to the way you feel. You can't just love a certain group. You can't just love a certain race. You got to love the human race. My God, help me today. It says, I'm on a, a level where these things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that she and that your joy might be full. Mm -hmm. If you stay in the perimeters of the Holy Spirit, it's going to bring you joy. Not because things are going good, but because you know who's in control. You know you serve in a God that cannot lie. Mm -hmm. Neither can he fail. He made us some promises and if we just continue to walk with him, abide with him, they will come to pass. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but if you continue to walk with him and keep his commandments, surely it's going to come to pass. You know, I realize 
It's some things I asked the Lord for in the early 90s. I'm just not walking into the blessing. And that's because I stayed with him. Sometimes, people of God, you'll forget the things that you requested or that you prayed for way back then. But the Lord never forgot. He always kept us on his mind. Why? Because we walk with him in love. Mm -hmm. And we exemplified his principles. We kept his commandments even when people walked away from us, even when they stabbed us in our back, even when they scandalized our name, called us everything but a child of God. We didn't leave God. We stayed with him. And so he's obligated. He promised that not only he's going to stay with you if you continue in love, but he's going to bring forth much fruit out of your life. Uh-huh. He said, these things I've spoken unto you that you may remain, that you may might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Listen, people of God. One of the greatest commandments is that he require us to love. Now, it, it, you know, somehow or some way, First Lady, we want to pick and choose who we love. Mm -hmm. We want to pinpoint and, 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 and choose the ones that we think we ought to love. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember, people of God, remember when you messed up, when you didn't even love God, or you didn't serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Remember when you didn't pay your tithes. Remember when you weren't serving. Remember when you weren't faithful. He still loved you. Remember when you stole, when you lied. Remember when you cheated. Remember when you fornicated and committed adultery. The Bible says we all have sinned and fell short of the glory, but that didn't stop him from loving us. Right. He loved us in spite of. Yes, Matter of fact, he said, I look beyond your faults. Yes. And I see your needs. He Thank know we're going to mess up. He just want us to get it right. But when you continue to love, Mm -hmm. And that's the commandment we got away from. We don't love like we used to love. Mm -hmm. We want to pick and choose who we love. And the people that we love turn around and hate us. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand that this is in him. We live, we move, we have our being. You have to do everything inside the realms of the Holy Spirit, in the parameters of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. in the will of God. There's peace and safety in the will. There's blessings in his will. Uh -huh. There's love and joy in his will. And he said, you know, if you love one another, because I love you, he said, no greater love had no man than this, that a man would lay down his life mm -hmm. for his friend. Amen. Ain't it funny how the Lord died for you when you was in your mess? Mm -hmm. He was thinking about you even when you weren't thinking about him. Even when you didn't read your scripture, when you didn't even know him, he knew you. Why? Because he created us. He know every strength of hair on our head. He know we might be wild and not, but we're going to get it right eventually. Mm -hmm. And so he never removed his love from us. But we remove our love. We have a, 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 we have a, a skeptic kind of love. We have a love that's limited. We have a love that picks and chooses. Uh-huh. We have a love that can become biased, but the Lord love in spite of, because you are his creation, and he want us to love, love the drug addict, love the prostitute, love uh -huh, those that are, 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 are go against his will, love them anyhow, because by you loving them, by chance you can draw them back to him. Amen. Uh, there's no way to love that no man would have, that lay down his life for a friend. He died for us. Now we don't want to live for him. It's not an option. This is not an either or. If you want the totality of the blessings, you have to do it his way. Mm -hmm. He said, uh huh. I'm going so well. He said, now. His force. All right. Henceforth, I call you not a servant, for the servant know not what his Lord doeth. Mm -hmm. But I call, I have called you a friend. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. For all things that I have heard of my father have I made known to you. When you consider somebody a friend, you will tell them your secrets. Mm -hmm. You will tell them things that you won't tell everybody else. You will share classified information with a friend. Mm -hmm. The Lord deem us when we're obedient as a friend. He will share things with us. He don't just share with everybody. Amen. Matter of fact, I hear him say, I've heard these things from the wise and the prudent. But I will reveal them unto the babes because they love me. Those that have a heart and a passion for me, I'm going to reveal some things to them. I don't share it with everybody because he consider you a friend. Why? Because you keeping his commandments. You keeping his principles. You keeping his ordinances. You walking in love in spite of. Yes. It's easier to stand up and, 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 and argue with people and curse them and and render evil for evil. Mm -hmm. But he told us you overcome evil by doing good. Yes. It's not about what they doing to you. It's about how you handling it. The Lord is watching our actions. Yes, he He's is. watching how we respond to a situation. Mm -hmm. Is we going to exemplify him? Remember when they came and they lied on him? And they got ready to, uh, uh, took him to the judgment hall? The word of God said he didn't say a mumbling word. What you don't understand, some folk, you'll never be able to change their mind, no matter what you say. They done already formed an opinion about you. So you might well hush up and love in spite of. Mm -hmm. And that's not an easy thing to do. But that's a, a, a requirement that the Lord have left for us to walk in him. He said, love like I love. Mm -hmm. Love like I love my father. You love me. And if you keep the principle going, you going to qualify for the blessing. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't qualify for the blessing. This is why some of us don't get our prayers answered because we're not walking in the will of God. We're not walking in the parameters. We get out the will by our actions, uh -huh, by our heart, uh -huh, by uh, uh, tipping and slipping, by hiding and sliding. That's how we get out, out the will. Do you not know you can thank yourself out the will? Oh, somebody better help me today. All right. Uh -huh, but he said, now, nah, you are a friend. So just like my father shared some secrets with me, I'm going to reveal some things to you. Because I love you like he loved me. Can't you see it's a commitment? Yes. It's a lifetime commitment. Mm -hmm. It's not a seasonal commitment. When you have a friend, a friend is one that stick with you through life. Uh-huh. They, they, they'll go above, above and beyond the call of duty. Yes. They'll do things the average person won't do. Mm -hmm. That's why you uh, label them as a friend. A friend is one that'll stick closer than a brother, mm -hmm. than your own kinfolk. Uh -huh. It's one that'll come to your rescue. We call them in this day and age a ride or die. Too many folk y'all labeling as a ride or die really ain't, 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 ain't that. They don't have your back like you think they ought to have your back. But Jesus said, I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. But if you want to qualify to be a friend, you got to walk in obedience. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now I'm on a this this is the meat of the message now. I'm on the 16th verse. <laughs> it said, You have not chosen me. But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. You haven't chosen me. I chose you in your mother's wounds. I called you. I qualified you. I justified you. And I glorified you in your mother's womb. I knew your ending before your beginning. I knew that you were going to serve me before you came out your mother's womb. And so therefore, I chosen you. You didn't choose me. I chose you to serve me. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to make the choice to keep the commitment. He say many are called, but few are chosen. He say I've chosen you. And not only have I chosen you, I ordained you. I anointed you. You remember when the Lord 
told Samuel to go to the house of Jesse and anoint me a king. Mm -hmm. The Lord chose David as a little boy. And David got anointed as a little boy. But David did not take the position until years later. You've been anointed from day one. You've been appointed from day one. You just have to walk into it. If you keep abiding, if you keep uh -huh, your commitment, if you keep the commandments, then you're going to walk into the blessing. Can't nobody steal this from you. Can't nobody take this away from you. Whenever you walk in the ways of God, you automatically qualify yourself for a blessing. They said, now, you didn't choose me. I chose you. Mm -hmm. And I ordained you yes. that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. I chose you for increase. I chose you to multiply you. If you be in decrease, if you dealing with subtractions tonight, that ain't God. Because you say, I'll make you the head and not the tail. Mm -hmm. I'll make you the lender and not the borrower. When you walk in me, you're going to experience increase. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, people of God, some things we go to, go through, just so he can build our character. Sometimes he want to let us know that he is a way maker. Yes. So he, the Bible say in Psalms 34, the young lion do lack and suffer hunger. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall not want any good thing. They shall not lack any good thing. If you wait on him long enough, mm -hmm. if you learn how to take a licking <laughs> and keep on ticking, if you learn how not to give up, look toward the hills from which cometh your help. Mm -hmm. Understand that all your help coming from him. Sometimes we have seasons of sowing, but seasons of reaping. Sometimes we have seasons of blessings, but seasons of waiting on him. You got to wait, and you got to wait all by yourself. This is why it's important to pray for patience, because sometimes it looks like the wait is a bit long. But to one day is a thousand years with God. You ain't waited no time. Mm -hmm. But when you're in the midst of suffering, mm -hmm. it seems like as though the wait is so long. Mm -hmm. It seems like you've been in it for years when really it ain't been the 30 days. Mm -hmm. And so if we don't lose focus, if we don't determine our love by what we're going through, we have to love if he don't do another thing because he allowed you to have breath. Yeah. He allowed a roof over your head. Mm -hmm. He allowed food in your icebox. Yeah. He allowed the activities of your limbs. Because of that, you ought to love him if he don't do nothing else. But he said, I, 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 I've chosen you to be fruitful. I've chosen you to be productive. Yeah. If you're not being productive tonight, you, you, you're not walking in the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. He promised that I ordained you for prosperity. I ordained you to bring forth much fruit. Listen what it's saying. And I'm just about to. It said, and that's your fruit shall remain. I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye ask of my father in my name he may give it to you. Listen. All right. I'm, I, I, I'm coming to a close. I'm not going to be long tonight. But I want you to understand the word Get the revelation out of this, what he gave me today. He said, I've chosen you and I ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Some things we've done, some things we tried. You may have got a job in the past and it didn't work out. You may have bought a house and it got foreclosed on. Mm -hmm. You might have bought a car and it got repossessed. But it wasn't in the will of God. He said, when you do it my way, your fruit going to remain. It didn't, it didn't remain because you wasn't in the will. It said, let, let, uh, 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 the Bible speaks of in his will that we prosper. 
and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. If you do it his way this time, it's going to work out. Yes, Why? Is. Because you're working in the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. You're in his will and he's going to make sure you're proof of why. Because you're exemplifying Christ. You're working the principles. You kept the commandments. So he said, whatever you ask in my name, you qualify for me to grant it unto you because I want your fruit to remain. I want the doubters to see that I made a way out of no way. I want your doubters to see I found out the Lord would allow you. And this is deep. This is what I taught. This is a personal experience. I've learned the Lord would allow you to go in, uh, I'm going to say Walmart. That's the street. That's the stores we know today. And to put you on display. Mm -hmm. and, and your enemies talking about you, mocking you, laughing at you. Because you don't have nothing. The Lord will allow a, this kind of season to go on in your life. And the reason why he allowed you to walk through this season because when he raised you up in front of your haters' face, in front of the doubters' face, they're going to have to testify that I know it had to be the Lord that raised them up because they, they didn't have nothing and they wasn't about nothing. The Lord just trying to get some glory out of your life. The Lord just won't you to exemplify him, keep his precepts. The Lord just wants you to stand still to see his salvation. Don't give up. This time it's going to work. Why? Because you're doing it to him. You're paying your tithes. You're serving the Lord. Uh huh. You're reading the word. You're fasting and praying. You're loving right. It's going to help but the work. He said this time your fruit is going to remain. Don't judge your past off your present. It didn't work before because you weren't totally obedient. You weren't all in. You had one foot in and one foot out. But when you totally submit, he said, anything you ask in my name, I promise I'll give it to you because this fruit going to remain. That's why I don't worry about, listen, you got to be very careful. You know, when you, when the Lord give you a mate, Notice what I said. Will the Lord give you a mate? That don't mean the mate is perfect. He might have some flaws. But whatever flaws he have, the Lord put the anointing in you. Where he can make it through anything he's going through. This is why my strength is, is my wife's weaknesses. And her weaknesses is my strength. The Lord know how to bind two people together for his purpose. And so mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's why you got to be careful listening to people saying, I wouldn't take all that if I was you. You got to learn to tell them, well, funny thing, you said that because he didn't choose you. He chose me for this. All right. When you, you know, some children, they've been in all kind of foster homes. They didn't hop from home to home. But some, you know, when the Lord choose a home for them to go to, they'll stay there for the duration. And people wonder, what, <clears throat> what happened? Why they stayed in that house and, and, and couldn't get along nowhere else? Everybody else moved them on from house to house. What happened? What's different about this house? This house, God has his own, and the fruit going to remain. It's going to work because they're walking in the principles of God. The Lord got some things he want them to instill in this child. And so they're walking in my purpose. They're walking in my way. He said, all things work together for the good of them that love me and call according to my purpose. When you stay with the Lord, he'll stay with you. He, he quit quoting scriptures and not living what he told you to live. All right. Quit making requests and you ain't doing your part. You're in a legal, legal binding contract. Mm -hmm. He's calling us tonight. If you do this, I'll do that. If you abide in me and my word in you, then you can ask what you will and I grant it unto you. You asking, but you're not abiding. If you continue in me, some of us start and stop. Some of us in and out according to what we're going through in our life. If we don't feel it today, we're not going to serve him. We're not going to praise him. 
it, 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 we got to feel everything. But the Lord said, you got to give me a sacrifice of praise. Why? Because of who I am, give me glory. Yeah. Because of who I am, praise me. Yeah. Worship me. You don't know what's on the other end of the blessing. You don't know what you praise in your way through. You don't understand what you believe in your, uh, 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 you know, what you untied. Mm -hmm. That the enemy got tied up. You see, you got to stay with this thing. I remember when uh, 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 Daniel was praying. And Daniel made a request. And Daniel request didn't get out, didn't get answered. So Daniel went on the fast. And when he went on the fast, the Lord sent an angel to tell Daniel, I heard you the first day you prayed, I heard it. Mm -hmm. But it was caught up in the atmosphere. There was warfare going on in the atmosphere. But because you didn't give up, because you pushed in prayer, you pushed in fasting, you pushed in praise, sometimes you have to, have to hold on just a little while longer. Yes. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but I want you to hold on a little while longer. Don't get weary and well-doing. Mm -hmm. You're going to reap in due season only if you faint not. You got to hold what you got. Don't be moved by what you see. In the natural, you be moved by what you see in the spirit. You got to say, I shall not be moved tonight. Mom, I'm going to be like a, plea, a tree planted by the rivers of water. Uh huh. You're not going to let nobody sway you. Nobody's opinion. Nobody, uh huh. Uh, 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 nobody beliefs sway you. You stay with the Lord and he'll stay with you. If you want your fruit to remain, it's mm -hmm. going to work because you work the principles. He promised to increase you. Don't make nobody, don't let nobody make you feel bad because you are, are getting blessed. Amen. Because he gave you the house. Mm -hmm. Because he gave you the vehicle. They weren't there when you were sowing in tears. Mm -hmm. Now you're reaping in joy. Yes. Be very careful of people always skeptical, always pointing things, always criticizing. Uh, be careful. Watch people. When you stay with God, he said, now you can ask whatever you will. And I grant it to you because you love. I've chosen you to be fruitful. I've chosen you so I can multiply you. He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. Mm -hmm. I've chosen you to be the lenders and not the borrowers. Wherever you at tonight, don't mean that's where you're going to end up. The Lord has more for you. How many reaching for more? Stay with him. Keep crying out. Keep waiting on him. Keep sowing. Keep paying your tithes. Keep keeping his ordinances. Keep the commandments. Honor the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Treat your brother and sister right. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Uh huh. Don't be a liar. Don't be a backbiter. Don't be a busy body in other folk affairs. Stay away from the ungodly. He said the ungodly are not so. But mm -hmm. like a chaff which the wind drives away. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor stand it in the way of sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scoffers. You got to stay away from that kind of stuff. Amen. And you want to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That'll bring forth fruit in his season. Yes. Sometimes it's not your season for more. It may be your season for going through. But it, just, Jesus said, just like you suffer in the flesh, he's going to reward you. Uh huh. God going to establish you. He's going to take us higher. What, what, you know, what, 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 what has been, uh, uh, what you've been through, uh, uh, what's to come. Is better than what's been. Uh -huh. What you're suffering in the past not going to be compared to the joys or the blessings he has up the road for us. If we stay with him, if we keep abiding, keep continuing, keep loving, don't worry about them that don't like you. Don't worry about them that hate you. Listen what he say. Uh -huh. That your fruit may remain. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, He said, now I told you, I go to prepare a place for you. 
And if I go to prepare a place, you will come again and receive. I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know. And the way you know, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And how can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. Yes. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if you have known me, you should know my Father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. In other words, just like Jesus said, he served God. <coughs> mm -hmm. He telling us we have to serve Jesus. He was our prime example. Even though he had to go through the death, <coughs> burial, and resurrection, mm -hmm. he didn't give up on God. He didn't give up on his father. And just because you're going through a tough season, you don't throw in the towel and give up. It's just a part of your testimony. It's just a part <coughs> of your makeup. We all have to go through some things in life. Yes. We all have to, in the heat of the day, bear our own burdens. Yes. You can't give up because it don't look good. It don't feel good. Do you not know chastisement is something that's, that's not joyous, but it's grievous. But it, when it get through working and yield its peaceable fruit, it's going to bring forth fruit <coughs> out of you. Yes. The Lord is trying to get some glory out of us, people of God. Even in this pandemic, people are watching how you walk. They're watching your actions. Be careful how you respond to folks. Because you're being judged off your response. Uh huh. People not always going to be friendly. They're not going to always be kind. They're not going to always be in a good mood. But you can set the tone. Yes. By your actions. <coughs> by your response. Uh huh. He said if you resist the devil. If you submit to God first. Then you resist the devil he'll flee. You can't do nothing outside the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. Your victory is in him, not outside of him. So many people trying to gain victory outside of him. Outside of him, you'll be fighting with your fists. You'll be fighting with your carnal mind instead of fighting in the spirit. Stay with the Lord, and the Lord will stay with you. I'm getting ready to close out, but I want you to know tonight, if you're going to get to the highest place in God. If you're going for the totality of the blessing, if you're striving for the hundred, for the mastery, you're going to have to learn <coughs> to take a licking and keep on ticking. You're going to have to learn to love in spite of. Yes. you have to learn to trust in God. Yeah. Wherever you may be on the land or the raging sea, you have to put your tr trust totally in him. You got to take your eyes off a of man and look toward the hills from which cometh your help. All your help cometh from the Lord. Do you not know, people of God, he holds a king's heart in his right hand. He'll cause your enemy to bless you. He said, I'll make your enemy be at peace with you. If you just stay in the perimeters of the Holy Spirit, if you stay with God, if you stay with my Savior, Jesus, he'll stay with you. Jesus is his name. And you got to stay with that name. If that name, every knee going to bow. And every tongue going to confess. And so why not do it now? While the blood is running warm in your veins. Why not be fruitful and multiply? I want you to don't lose hope. Don't look down, look up. Because our Redeemer lives. And because he lives, you can face tomorrow. All right. Father, I thank you for the word tonight. I thank you for those that listen to in, God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, Hashua, tonight, that you seal this word over every household. Father, let us walk in the perimeters of the Holy Spirit. 
We want to be in your perfect will. You say you ordered our steps in your word, God. Don't let us go to the left or to the right. But cause us to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause us to walk upright before you. Let us be the seed of righteousness. Make us examples, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You told us in your word that we suffer with you. We will reign with you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your hand of mercy. We thank you for leading, guiding, and directing us. We thank you for your angels you assigned to us. Now, Lord, we pray right now, God, that you bless your people, Father, even the remainder of the week. Give them special miracles, Father. Let the fruit remain. You chosen us to be fruitful, Father. Allow us to walk in our divine purpose. Help us to be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, if there's anybody sick tonight, we decree and declare healing, God, on their behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them, Father. Heal them right now, Father. Heal them, God. Protect our children and grandchildren. Our youth, Father. Let them walk under the anointing, God. Put your hand of mercy upon them, Father. And everyone that's divinely connected to sunrise. We speak blessings. We speak overflow. Increase. In Jesus' name. In thy son Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. And I ask it all. Amen. Amen and amen.